Hey, hey. you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a special guest, I guess, because he doesn't want to be a part of this channel. It's not true. Definitely. Well, forever you don't want to be. You want to be just a guest, right? Just a guest. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about something. If you read the title, you know exactly what this is. But for some reason, somebody on Twitter, I don't know if it's just one person or if it's multiple people, but someone, some people are very interested um, in our... Our skunk fiasco. Yeah. So about a year and a half ago, I believe it was, we got sprayed by a skunk. And so I guess today we're going to be filming this to elaborate a little bit on what exactly happened that day because somebody really wants to know. Um, it's not something that I really talk about that often because it kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it's a smelly situation. Yes, yeah, a very smelly smelly situation so why don't you start off with the uh the beginning of it well in our old place about a year and a half ago <laughs> we went uh we were grocery shopping and we were coming back home it was pretty dark well it was was winter time it was so winter. it was probably maybe even if it was six because it was because we went right after work yeah even if it was 6 p.m it was still pretty dark yeah out. we went grocery shopping and had i was carrying i had two bags in my hands and i was just walking back to our Sweet and our front door. Our front door. And we had this long, like, passage, long, narrow, like, yeah. that you had to walk down that was just all, like, like cement. Yeah. To Anyways, get to our front I door. kicked a rock because there's a rock sitting there. And, well, I saw something in the darkness. I thought it was a paper bag or, like, a white plastic bag. And then didn't really think much of it. Kicked a rock towards it. And it kind of moved really fast. And I was like, whoa, what the heck is that? Didn't think too much of it. I was walking Walked behind right him. Walked right beside it, it, and she was behind me. And I just, I heard something go Psh! And then it just smelled so bad. And after that, I was like, oh, I think we just got skunked. It was just the most. I saw something run away Yeah, too something after. scurried away. Because he was looking forward. Yeah. And he wasn't really paying attention to me behind because he thought it was just a bag. So he didn't even think anything of it. So he just kept walking. And I just felt something hit me. And then I, out of the corner of my eye, saw something just scurry away. No. And at first, I don't know. I thought it was like a mouse or something. Like, mm -hmm. I thought it was nothing that was going to, you know stink up our life for a week but yeah he just he walked and actually after he realized what happened he booked it and ran to the front door opened yeah. the door i, I stayed out. outside because i knew like i already knew that it I didn't was... get me too much but it got her a lot it, it, got, hit me. it literally didn't even get you no, it, it, didn't get it me. sprayed me from my hair all the way down to my feet yeah. like i was sprayed from this side all the way down and i had we had i had groceries in my hand and whatever the Whatever the fresh fruit was, we'd throw it away. We'd throw everything Anything away. that wasn't packaged, you know basically what? tossed. That's where you got lucky, is that you were holding bags. I wasn't yeah. holding bags, I was just holding my stuff. Yeah. And so the bag, I think that it sprayed the bags and didn't yeah, the spray bags you. Were, because... The bags are definitely out. Yeah, we ended up throwing away pretty much everything, I think, in those bags. And like pretty much everything that we were wearing. I think I threw away my pants too because it was just so bad. Yeah, I and tried to shirt. save. I tried to save something. I think it was like a sweater, or a jacket, or something. No, you tried to save your Levi's. Oh, my Levi's. <laughs> yeah, I tried to save my Levi's, but I ended up having to toss them because the smell just wasn't leaving. But yeah, we pretty much just like stripped down in our like, like I don't know if it was outside or if it was inside. Well, I was fine, and I pretty much had to go back to the grocery store to get um, a bunch of remedies. Oh, well, no, I got get? tomato juice. <laughs> And I got hydrogen peroxide. I just bathed in tomato juice. Ah. And I can tell you one thing, tomato juice does not work. Whatever you've heard about tomato juice working for skunk spray, just don't even bother with it. It doesn't do anything, especially if you're a direct hit, it doesn't do shit. I literally, okay, so I basically like went from I went from in uh, outside taking all my clothes off to going inside straight into the shower and I was like crying and like freaking out. Sook ended up leaving because he wasn't hit. Yeah. Um, he ended up leaving going to the grocery store and picking up all these things. The grocery store that we literally just came yeah. from with all of our groceries. Yeah, I went and, back there and grabbed a bunch of stuff and came back. And I think I spent like two two hours trying to yeah. get rid of the smell. I, I was in my shower with the hot water just spraying on me. I washed my hair because it hit my hair. 
and I washed my hair like four times with shampoo, maybe even more. I just kept bathing myself until he got back with the, the with the remedies. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, the tomato juice is the first thing I tried and it didn't work. I think I did something else, maybe baking soda or something like that. I think and so, yeah. I feel like I thought that that had worked. Yeah, it masked the smell for us. I think by the end of it, by, by the, two three hours in, I didn't even know it was the smell was a part of us. So, yeah, it was just you know we thought us. it was a normal everyday thing. Yeah. yeah. So whatever. You know, I washed myself in tomatoes, tomato sauce <laughs> <laughs> after she bathed in ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe that's the reason why it didn't work. No. Um, after I bathed, <laughs> I can't talk. You want some basil? <laughs> tomato sauce and basil. Oh anyway. my god. Anyways, um, after I did the tomato sauce soaking, um, I said tomato sauce again, man. <laughs> After I bathed myself in tomato juice, um, I thought to myself, okay, I'm not smelling too bad. I did whatever I did. Um, I got out of the shower and I asked him if I smelled and he was like, no, no, no. I think you're good now. You're fine. Um, we kind of could just smell a little bit because I think my shoes ended up having it on it. Yeah. And I don't Water think we really, thing. yeah, we, we didn't really notice. So um, anyways, whatever, we went to sleep. He was fine. Um, and then the next morning, I kept morning, smelling uh, skunk all night in her hair. <laughs> but he didn't say anything. He didn't tell me or anything. He just let me live with my with my skunk smell. Well, you said you you thought that it was just like, stuck it was in your nose. With, yeah, I think it was just in my nose. I did. It was definitely my hair, though. Too. It was definitely it was. my hair. But anyways, so whatever. We woke up in the morning. I think I took another shower in the morning. Sprayed myself down with perfume just in case. And then he drops me, no, do, I think I dropped you off and then went to work. Yeah. And when I was, I got to work early. I think I was about like 15 minutes before the, the second person came in. Um, and then that guy ended up coming in and I'm, I had already been sitting there for about 15 minutes, you know, just doing my thing, whatever. Um, and he came in and he was like, what is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, well, like, what smell? Like, what do you mean? And he's just like, something smells like skunk. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and my face just went red. And I was like, oh, well, it might be me because I did get sprayed by a skunk last night. And he literally like freaked out and he was yeah. like, go home right now, like get out of here. I don't want you here, it smells so bad. He wasn't even the boss, but he was like, just get out of here. Um, he's like, I'll tell the managers what happened and you just go home and like do whatever you can and just stay away from here because it freaking smells. So anyways, I ended up going home because I smelled like skunk. <laughs> Not the proudest moment of my life, but no. um, I ended up going home and you know what? I think you actually did end up getting hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, and it was funny before. because the guys at my work actually picked up a skunk smell too, but it was just it wasn't too much. Like it was like in the background, I was like, Yeah, I think that's me. It's probably because Yeah. Because you were it's probably like, my beard or something. Yeah, I think so. Probably because yeah. my hair and then you probably like yeah, rubbed yeah. on it or something. But um, I went home and I bathed. I did like a hydrogen peroxide baking soda mixture, which yeah. apparently is um, explosive or something like that if you leave it too long. Yeah. So I did some kind of mixture. I forget exactly what it was. Um, I'll leave it linked in the description just in case you guys have this issue because it was That's pretty helpful. It was the only I think it was thing that actually worked. Peroxide, baking soda, and lemon juice. Something like that. Yeah, some concoction. Or I'll put it like right here or something while we're talking about it. But yeah. it was the only thing that worked. I also, just a side note for any buddy who has blonde hair if you're gonna do this you can't leave it on your hair for a long time because it will fry your hair um so i had blonde hair at the time and i literally had to like put it in and then quickly take it out just left it for like a couple seconds and then took it out um but i did that and like scrubbed myself down and after i did that i was like okay it's starting to smell a little bit better not that i could really smell it i honestly thought that i didn't mm -hmm. smell it all yeah um but then I ended up getting out of the shower and obviously was just chilling at home because I had nothing else to do. I was kicked out of work because I smelled like a skunk. Um, and then I get a phone call from our landlord and he was basically like, Hey, um, <laughs> are you guys, uh, are you guys like smoking downstairs or something? And I don't know if you guys have ever smelled like skunk on the side of the road or like a pot plant or something like that, but they smell kind of the same. So he, he was asking me if we were smoking weed <laughs> inside the inside the suite. Yeah, he thought that we were smoking weed inside the suite because of the smell of skunk. And I ex had to explain it to him. And he didn't even laugh. He was just like, oh, 
Okay, yeah. and that's it. Like I showed him the skunk. Uh, like there was a little bit of marking on the on the wall. And it was like a diagonal spray, and I was like, yeah, that's where it was. You know what? If I still have that picture, I'm gonna insert it here because I did take a picture of it because I never wanted to forget it. I think that's basically the gist of the story. Yeah. Basically, what happened. Um, it was a very unfortunate event. A side note for our little corridor that we had to walk down, there was like a concrete fence on one side and then the house on the other. So it was literally this little narrow thing you had to walk uh, down and we were about halfway in. Yeah, we were just trapped in there. Yeah, there was nowhere we could go. And the smell probably stayed in there too because it was like this. And yeah. got stuck in there. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was just something else. So, I don't know, I think I think we hit pretty much Yeah, I think every, that was the gist of every it. Point. It was pretty bad and sucks being sprayed by a skunk that's for sure i don't wish it on anybody ever like honestly i don't wish it even on my worst enemy i do not wish them yeah, really getting stinks. skunked yeah, like really stinks. yeah and now my goal is to get a skunk tattooed on me so i never forget the moment as much as i say i didn't <laughs> enjoy it um yeah it has a, it an experience for sure it was definitely an experience maybe we, can get, now. maybe we can get matching tattoos Okay. Matching skunk <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> Anyways, I think uh, I think that's all we are all we have to say about this that's story. That's the skunk story. That is the skunk story. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you've ever been hit by a skunk, let you us know, know. Yeah, let us know how it went for you, yeah. and let us know. Tell um, us your skunk story. Yeah, comment them down below and. Yeah, I, you know what? Honestly, it probably make me feel better if there's other people that got skunked just like me because, yeah, it was just, it was just something else. Something else, for sure. So, we'll catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Oh! Bye.